Welcome aboard for part one of a unique video series from Shipping TV, North Sea Roro. Today we're sailing with one of the UK's busiest freight only ferry services, operated by DFDS Seaways between the port of Felixstowe in Suffolk and Europe's biggest and busiest seaport, Rotterdam. It's nothing like what you'll experience on passenger ferries. Trailers are loaded by dock-operated Tugmaster tractors with driver banksman teams who park them precisely within inches of each other. The loading plan covers three vehicle decks with a total of 2,772 lane metres. But there has to be a gap on this weather deck to allow Tugmasters to load and unload the sternmost part of the deck. Today, 16th June 2015, Suecia Seaways is loaded with just a few minutes to go. She isn't quite full for this sailing, and that's unusual. On the bridge, Captain Nielsen and his second officer are making ready to sail. It's completed loading now. Completed loading. And are you talking with Herricks? We have two boat thrusters. Nice. More than 3,000 horsepower. More than 21,000 kilowatt hours on the main engine, so we have a lot of powers. Two independent rotors, right. we can split them. So with the ship is very maneuverable. When yeah. we are breaking away, we yeah. will coming uh, away uh, parallel, more or less from the key side mm -hmm. before swinging uh, to port. Then we have to make a 180 degree swing to port to get out of the harbor. On deck and in the engine room, everything is on the top line. Let's go fore and aft. Carries with yes, space as always. Yes, we are letting go here from row row four. Can we break away? Permission to break away? Space as always, as we can see, I'm very from the Phoenix Harbor Line number four. There's no event from the future. Thank you. 
Zero here. Zero, just stop, stop. According to the port data, Suasia Seaways sailed at 07.48 local time this morning, just 12 minutes ahead of her timetable departure, which means that she should have a straightforward and comfortable run to Rotterdam at an economic speed. Part of the skill set needed by a ship's captain on this kind of route is the ability to balance the needs of the timetable with fuel economy. Managing bunker costs is a very important factor in keeping any ferry service in profit and in business. On this departure, the harbour is quiet and they can concentrate on taking Suecia seaways around the approach channel's nearly 90 degree turn before heading out to sea. In part two of our series, we'll be at sea and exploring the ship herself, learning about the intricacies of the engineering department where they look after and maintain everything from the mighty main engines to the fresh water maker and the sanitary system. It's not a job for someone who wants to keep their hands clean.